Hey, this is Chris, keeping it real. How's it going? It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Yes, it is Tuesday here in North Central North Carolina, driving around the Oxford Loop. I'm going to go get some cleaning supplies, like a brush, a stiff brush, and uh, some kind of spray-on cleaner. I'm going to go clean up my Camry. Um, <clears throat> it needs it. It's gotten a little dirty over the last couple weeks. I really haven't been driving for Uber or Lyft that much because of some uh, side works has kind of fallen into my hands. And so uh, that's been much more satisfying. You know, you get, you get to the end of something, it's done, it looks good. I've always liked that part of construction. So, uh, so that's what I've been doing on the weekends a lot and some during the week. And so I have not had to ride people around, which is good. Gives me a break, gives my car a break. <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing right now. I got up this morning, fixed Lee's front discs, disc pads, changed them out, ordered the uh, pads. And when we got home, I think it was Friday night or Saturday, we were out somewhere and it's like all of a sudden heard the grinding sound that indicates, hey, there's a <laughs> There's a pad that doesn't have any pad left on it. And it's like, that was really weird. That it usually, you know, you get a little bit of warning, like, you know, you get a couple days uh, where, you know, the, the thing will grind every now and again. You know what's coming, but, you know, it's, it's still okay to drive if you drive it carefully. And this one was just like full on metal on metal. It's like, ooh, man, it was awful. And so when I changed out the pads this morning, I found out that was that was very true. The pad had worn completely evenly down all the way to the metal. And I've never seen that before. Usually it's crooked one, you know, it's beveled, angled one way or another. And it's just like the very edge of the the brake. I don't know if they call those shoes. or They used to when they were drum brakes. I don't know if they call them brake shoes now. I guess they do. I know it's called pads now. See how old I am? I know about drum brakes. Um, So anyway, yeah, so, so we drove it straight home. And luckily, we were just in town. So we drove it straight home. Oh, I know. We went out to Aldi to, to the grocery store on Friday. That's what we did. So we are coming back from there. And um, so I drove it home. I had to listen to it grind a couple more times. So I went right in, got on Amazon, looked up fit number on my car. I've learned that lesson. I said, when you order something off Amazon, you definitely want to do a VIN number part lookup so that you can be sure exactly what equipment your car has uh, so that when you order the parts, they're the right parts. This is very important. I found that out with these two cameras, right? I told you that story. I won't bore you with it again. So, uh, made sure I ordered the right part. I got here yesterday. We had gone down to see the, some of the grandchildren in Raleigh yesterday, so I didn't have time to work on it, but got up first thing this morning, went out there, changed those pads. It's a really easy, it is green, it really is green, and we're going to sit there until the light turns red, and then we're finally going to go. Thank you so much. Situational awareness. You know, it's so important. So anyway, uh, fortunately, that was an easy job. It actually takes longer to take the wheel off and put it back on. It takes more time to do that than it does to loosen the two bolts that hold the caliper in place to replace, to move it out of the way and take and put, switch out the pads. I mean, that's how easy it is. It literally, like once you get the wheel off, it's a five-minute job. So I always do that work myself if I can. Uh, the rotors are still in good shape. I mean, it did it had ground just a tad, but. You know, I never get my rotors turned. I just, I just never have. Unless it's, and if and if I need new rotors, I'll just buy new ones. Because, you know, it costs $20 to get them turned, it costs $30 for a new rotor. So why bother? Why bother getting it worked on? It's, you know, that's just the way it is. So I got that done this morning. So that's, that's that was the first thing on my to-do list I had to do today. I started doing that. I started it yesterday. I will write up an email. I wrote up an email with about a list of 10 things. Not, not necessarily that I want to get done today, but just just things that, uh, as I'm going through my schedule for the week, you know, I can look at that list and say, okay, I can do that today, that today, or 
can't do that today or whatever, but sooner or later, all the stuff will get done. And it's just a good reminder. I think it's going to be a good reminder for me to do that. So that's what I'm doing. So I mark that off the list and I'll mark off everything else that's on the list and then send myself another email at the end of the day and that will become my, and then add, of course, anything that I see today that needs to be done. And then email that and I'll have a new list for tomorrow, but I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the whole list intact with all the dates. When I got everything done, it'll be kind of like a, kind of like a diary, actually, a real shorthand of what I did or didn't do. There you go. All right, got any questions or comments? Leave it in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate it when you do. We'll see you on the next video.